All right, guys, welcome back to PGA Tour 2K23. And in our first PGA Tour event, we were we came tied for third at minus eight, and we completely wiped out Harold Varner the third. Um, so we're moving on to Ricky Fowler, and I'll just say, even though him and Bubba Watson went to live, I am glad that they kept both of them in the game, just because I do like them. Like, they never, you know, did anything or said anything to where it's like, there's a reason to, to just hate the person in general. Um, and I th honestly think if they would have taken them out, that it probably would have bugged the game. Just because the fact that they can't get the, um, uh, the highlights for the pros correct ever like the leaderboard the what they're doing with their shot and the commentating on considering that's never right them completely removing two players and then having to remove their highlights their commentary on them and all that I think it would have messed them up but um let's see what we got We got two points. Hmm. We got the splash shots. I think we keep going with those. Because the splash shots are kind of difficult. Chip shots with a timing boost. That could be handy, but we might want to get some putting ones so sink two putts in a row between five and ten feet let's get this one sink two putts in a row from within five feet I'm um, gonna unlock the next tier Flop shots receive a shaping boost. Who shapes a flop? Normal shots receive a roll boost from the heavy rough. That could be handy. Normal shots receive a lie range boost from heavy rough. That could be really handy, but that's with hybrid. Um, punch shots receive a shaping boost from the heavy rough. That could actually be handy, but with a wood, I don't know. Uh, normal shots receive a flight boost. Okay. All right, so what do we unlock? So, worse. Hmm. No, this one's worse. So since it's worse, and it's also a grip, which is that one, um, can we deconstruct it? What happens if we do that? We get 10. That's it. Uh, it's not really worth it. Mm, the timing and swing path, which is very good, goes way up. Um... Power goes down by two, but it's only two. Oh, whoops. Let's go with it. Oh, okay, never mind. It doesn't. Oh, okay, that was a shaft, and this was the head, okay. Oh, we got a good hybrid one. Transition and timing go down, but only by one. Everything else goes up by a lot. Okay. 
Ooh, we got this one. Swing path, really good. Power's really good. Timing and transition, though, and lie range go down. Hmm. By 2, 2, and 1. And that's a grip, so we'll have three different things on here. Spending a good bit, but that is okay. So this is the grip. Uh, this is also a grip, okay. I say this one's better because it's all positives versus this one which has two negatives on it. Um, we do have one for the head, but the transition and shaping, well no. Swing path and lie range though go way up, so let's put this one on. Still nothing for the putter. Alright, what do we get for clothing? Oh, I like that shirt, actually. And that matches our... the shirt we're currently wearing. Oh, wait. Let's see this ugly green. Why would you want that green? It's awful. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got new shoes. I mean, not bad. Can definitely put them on for a round. Oops. I meant to... So, day one. Let's go ahead and put the Air Jordan one on. Again, don't care about the the fact that it's Jordan, because I don't watch any basketball. Um, and we'll put the shoes on here as well. Day... Oh, you know what? We'll change our day three top to this one. Because our day four is this one. So we'll have a different shirt. Um, I believe that's it. Let's go ahead and play the event. Serenity Championship at Jacobson Homestead. Ooh, this was a long one. 7,500 yards. That doesn't bode too well for us because remember we're the Woodsman archetype so that is one of the worst for distance and the worst for putting so that might not be <laughs> that might not be too great 2k sports in association with the pga tour proudly presents the season-long race for the fedex cup today's coverage of the serenity championship is about to begin pleased you could join us for this first round action I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course, following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm very happy to be covering this week's featured group. What a pairing. These two, they've been going back and forth at each other. There is quite the budding rivalry here. So it appears this player's target is to beat Ricky Fowler this week. <laughs> that should be an exciting showdown, Henny. Yeah, Ricky Fowler sounds like he's up for the challenge on social media. He's been talking about this rivalry. Is Ricky ever not up for the challenge, though? He'll smile as he's beating you, that's for sure. Yes, likes to kill him with kindness, does our Ricky. He is a, a wonderful fella on and off the course. And with a renewed confidence in his game, the new father's looking to shine here. This will be a tough challenge for our rivalry. Taking aim from around 190 yards here. Has the wind coming right into his face. Ah, pulled. Oh, wait, I this actually pulled like that? It's going left. I knew I hit it fast, Didn't but man, have the right stuff there. I was trying to oh, we could see there, the wind really not pull. That shot. Now that's a poor lie. Will he be able to get out of here? They'll have to get their best bunker technique out here because this is nasty. 
Oh, I hit it too good, I guess. But that was always going to be a hard one. The pin is right after the bunker, so. Unfortunately, we're probably going to start with a bogey. Oh, that was so close. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. That gets the job done. Just the thing they didn't want to have but opening bogey. Hopefully that does not set the tone for the rest of the day. Okay, I mean sitting at one over for the day. Oh Ricky's actually beaten us. Here we have a par five. Our Varner started off losing. So. Oh not that too sure that was, but that didn't even come close the to his like a golf swing. Only two fifty. <laughs> well, Rich, it's become a bit of a new age thing on tour. Not even two sixty. Uh, a couple of rivalries that heat up on social media. We've seen a number of other players that call each other Come out. On. Uh, what have you made of this social media age? Well, you better have thick skin if you're going to get into yeah. the social media arena. Thankfully, they didn't have it when I was out there on tour because I don't know if I can handle it. I certainly uh, couldn't be trusted with it back then. But I think if you're going to go into that arena, you have to treat social media like it's just something that it's fun oh, to do. Oh, what a shot. If you, if you do go down that rabbit hole in social media, you better be prepared for the consequences. Wow. Oh, he's up, Tiger. I suck. And this putt coming up for his par. <sighs> now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. Oh. That was handy holding out from there. I mean, you've got to expect this kind of stuff when you start up a rivalry with a tour player. This is what they do. Guess it was for par, what happens here at the third. God, I hit such a good splash from that bunker and completely pull the putt, and I'm hitting him so fast for some reason. Few players have had the kind of impact on the game that Ricky Fowler has, and certainly being a fan favorite, Rich, it's funny when you see grown men dressed head to toe in orange supporting this uh, wonderful person uh, but i know he wants more go. out of his career bio than what he's got right now and he will definitely get it as well luke he's too good of a talent and he has too much ability to not be a great player and be on the top of the leaderboard uh definitely a few <laughs> times during the season he is definitely if there is a pied piper in golf outside of tiger woods the I start of that put putt was on, stupid on, on i don't understand golf. that Just because so many people go out there dressed in the orange gear that he has and whatever he does well, they, used to. they just love it he's engaging he's affable he looks like he is enjoying himself on the golf course which i truly believe he is he really is one of these players that's so dynamic and so fun to be around you can't help but root for him week in and week out he's had a disagreement with the caddy he's gone down well, a if i wasn't so slow with that now over to ricky fowler He's one stroke in front of his rival so far today. Great stuff. Nothing as beautiful as a tiny fade. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? A little far, but okay, time it'll be a tough the action. shot from there. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. Needs this putt to tie Ricky Fowler. Again, a little bit of a pull and didn't quite have the right stuff there. And just about eight pulled feet it again. He's got this for his part. And then it goes. Again, it now four back after that hole. When it's uphill, you have to go past the vibration. Yeah, I can understand if you Downhill, you shouldn't even touch it. To back. Off the fringe, don't even touch it. It's like it's so weird. Pushed it. Bounce left. Thank you. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up here from about 190 yards. <laughs> looks to have chosen the 7 iron. This one looks to be bunker bound, Rich. Not good. Getting ready to play their third. Four strokes off the lead. Okay. And here we are with their four. One a bad lie, so I don't see how it was leader. that bad. <laughs> Setting up from the first cut here in the green. I don't know. The chips really don't seem to 
I mean, to me, right now, they just don't seem to make too much sense. Like, I don't see how I can go any oh, slower. Like that. Always good when you've got hands like that around the green. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. That's a good punt to make, that one. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? And now we can take a look at how that wonderful play affects the leaderboard. Well, I the skipped it. I'm a little pissed off right now. Advantage. We have a par five on this one. That a boy. Good shot. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. It's on. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. But, uh, yeah, look at that. Just take a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? No. You know, Luke, I've heard this metaphor before. Every once in a while, nope. a blind squirrel finds an acorn. I believe that rings true in this scenario. They're a long way from the hole here. Work to be done. That's disappointing. That will drive you bats. Trailing by six shots after that. Uh, going, going, going up a hill with the putting's a little iffy. What? Could roll into the rough on this one. This shot now being played from the fairway bunker. Well, yeah. Should be unpredictable. Couldn't get over there. From the golfing gods here. There was no way we were getting it and onto the green. And here we are the third shot. Doesn't Can go down that hill, you though. You had the chance to have a look over this one? Yeah, guys, he's looking at around 17 feet. This is huge for momentum. Gotta try and hold this. This for par. Just three feet to the cup. Now over How to do we do? Fowler. Yeah, he just uh, except for the, again, except for the first one. round, so good in the first Here's tournament. Next shot. And so with another hole behind plus us, five right now. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. After seven holes. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Going with the five God. iron here. And I can't stop so hitting it left fast. Not coming back. This would be a great up and down. Oh look, the first ever perfect for a chip for me. Look how far I pull, pushed, pulled that back and put max spin almost, and it still ran past the hole. Great par, but if you can make this. Go on, get in the hole. Yeah, good job, nice par. Sitting at plus five for the day. Moving up the leaderboard, I like it. Here we go, we're beginning the ninth hole now. Yeah, that's hooking that one. <clears throat> Time to play from the bunker. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Oh, oh, that's a okay. shame. Comes up shy. Well, it was that's downhill, so I thought, you know, if I just tapped it, it's still going to go past the did. hole, but apparently not. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. 
So, Rich, nine holes in the books. Uh, what do you make of the performance so far in this Awful. rivalry? It's early, Luke, but this player is trailing their rival. I hope to see them put up more of a fight as this event progresses. I can't get off the tee. Uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. Henny, what does that lie look like? Looks like they have a bad lie here in the first cut. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. Really? Getting ready to play their third. That's nicely done. Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. It's going to be Let's low. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. Ooh, good look at Birdie here. Oh, see that line and look how far it goes. You see why I barely tapped the last one. It is about ten feet from the hole. Tracking. Come on. Solid par putt, that. Now seven shots behind after that. You've reached the eleventh hole, and the tee is yours. It's like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. Good shot that right inside the range. Putting for birdie here. God uh, damn it. And that should secure the power on this one. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. God, Fowl is now four well, over. Let's head to the 12th hole. Going with the seven. Just a touch fast, and look how far left it is. Good God. Good shot there. Outside chance here for the birdie. Here's Ricky Fowler. Whoa. Oh, my. How about that for a par? <laughs> oh, a messy little lie in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. So we're yes, 42 in the hole. feet away. Putting for birdie. I aimed not I don't even think I aimed on the green. So that touch fast went more than twenty yards left. That's insane. And okay. look at that. Now it's gonna go off That's the green. <laughs> and here we are with the third shot. Okay. We're not even going to make now. the cut at this point. Three feet to go here to the hole. And unfortunately heading in the wrong direction on the leaderboard after that hole. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Perfect, and it's, ten, it's 15 yards left. Oh, that was pure. Don't overclub when playing to a green well below your feet. It's always a smart play to club down a bit. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine now that's heading further left than they wanted, I think. That's a tad wayward. Not quite finding the surface. Oh, the wind wreaks havoc with another golf ball. A chance to save the par if he can make this one. Doubtful I can't make anything. Not a bad Good line, guy. This. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's two strokes ahead in this group rivalry today. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? 
Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. And it's crazy because Let's begin the, the course really isn't that hard. The leader's oh, only two flushed. under. We could have been so doing so well. I don't understand what's going on with the swing. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? This whole location it's for like him, I well, can't it's about 185 hit it yards not out. fast. What a drive that was. F1, watch out. And I pulled that one. Look, a fast and a pull, but this one only goes... Nicely done. A yard left. And this putt is from but my perfect the and the swing plan was perfect on the last hole, and it went 20 yards left. I just don't understand that. Well, that'll play. Trailing by seven after that hole. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. We need to get to minimum two under, two over. Not bad. Playing just because from about 210 yards out. being this far down, just making the cut's going to be tough. Looks ah. to be going with the six iron. Uh-oh. This one's headed for the rough. Getting ready to play their third. Well, that doesn't run out at all. About 11 feet in distance. If they can sink this, they'll pull ahead of Fowler. Okay. This could get interesting. And that <sighs> will put them ahead of their rival. A great performance on this hole. Why are our rivals playing so now badly? Over to Ricky Fowler. He's got some work to do. But he's only one back from his rival. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Like Fowler should be beating me right now. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you take on this 16th hole. Nine mile an hour. Put some spin on it. Slow. See if you can get that one to come back to the left. Would have been so good too. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. And back to the play, shall we? And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this putt 23 feet from the cup. What Pulled a it. great opportunity here okay. for a, made it. a birdie. Look at him fist pump Pulled that up. like crazy. Well, at like four at of, that now four I over. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. It was almost straight in. Currently at plus three for the round. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Right. And they're three, three under now, we need a, another birdie. Order. Well struck. Time for the second shot at the 17th. Looks to be going with the five iron. It should be good. Oh, this oh, one it's got a right sit. down the pipe. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. That was a gallant attempt. Bye bye. 13 feet to the hole. Was a good line? <laughs> of course. I'm yeah, telling you right now. Right and if you just look at the green speeds, oh, the green speeds are actually very slow. And now on They're the only 155. Bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. I am not uh, understanding the why they're going so far yeah, past the hole. Because that one was barely Do even like the view from where downhill. You're standing, they're setting up this next shot into quite an elevated green, Luke. That was fast. Oh, that should find the bunker. Felt slow. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Distance control nearly impossible coming out of this rough. Uh, okay. On the green now, but a bit of work left to do here. The putt drops, four and this over. player is finished for the day. Oh my god. We had three birdies in a row and finished four over. I think that's our worst 
besides the three click. Well, this player's round is now over and not an outstanding performance. No, awful one. But I'm sure they won't be dead. Seven back. Well, at four over. Tail of two nine, Tiger Woods it? winning. On the front nine, Hell yeah. it looked like a rank amateur, and on the back nine, it looked actually they knew what they were doing. So, interesting to watch, no doubt about it. Hopefully, more Shut consistency up, in the days ahead. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich Beam, thanks for tuning in. I wonder if those fittings really made that much of a difference. Because that's. That is quite a big difference. Because um, it was only like minus one, the worst was minus two on something. So. 2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Serenity Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. Of course. I'm Luke Elby with my mate Rich Beam in the booth. And Beamer, this player really hasn't been getting it going in this tournament, finds himself trailing the lead. What are your expectations of them today? Well, certainly they're stuck in second gear out there, aren't they? They just make a birdie or two and then they give it back with a bogey. So they need to quit making mistakes. They need to go ahead and start putting this thing in third and fourth gear and start cruising down the highway a little bit quicker because right now they're trailing. They can't afford to give any more uh, back. This is an exciting one, Rich. Let's get into the action. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? Has to put this one downhill. What? Ooh, right by the hole. She said downhill and it here. messed me up. Yep, because I'm pretty nicely. sure it was uphill, so I was getting worried. I was like, oh no, I want to look at the path vibration. The but and of course, we start with on the opening hole. Never sets the tone very well. It'll be interesting to see how they react. Tiger Woods back in his familiar spot, currently on top of the leaderboard here. Here we are at the second tee. Yeah, that one will play. Rich is one of the rare players to ever tame the Tiger in a major championship. How did you manage to do it? Uh, taming him, that's a, that's a big stretch there. Um, you know, I did it because I never had to play with him. I was fortunate <laughs> enough to, to not be paired with him the third round, nor in the final round when I was paired with Justin Leonard. And going back to the comments about the roars, you know, not Slow. knowing that was him making those birdies. You assumed it was, you couldn't deny that it was, but not knowing, not knowing, it was a lot easier to say, well, that was Fred Funk, who he was playing with in the final round, who was having such a great week as it was. It was easier to deflect that a little bit. I think if I would have played alongside him, I think things might have been a little bit differently because he does bring a different energy and sometimes it can be uncomfortable but when you start hearing those roars going up and you're playing with them well you know exactly what's going on but when you're not playing with them i was able to kind of deflect what he was actually doing and, and i was fortunate and what's in front of them there henny yeah i think he's got around 135. wow that drive mm. that had so much air time i didn't even know if it was coming down oh wow that's slow I thought that yeah, it was going to be fast. A bit of a Not taking enough club to get it there. Get in. Oh, that almost went down. Well, I don't mind this par putt. Now over to Ricky Fowler. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this putt 28 feet from the cup. Can you hear those tweets? This is Apparently. what they have left for birdie here. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. That should have been a birdie they were saying, so he should have been four over, and now he's six over. So apparently he bogeyed that. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's a really good shot. Oh, I guess they're seeing something I'm not. They're going with less club here. Interesting. You're not seeing the wind? 13 feet to the cup. <sighs> oh, just missed. This is a par putt. And a very familiar sight. Tiger Woods on top of the leaderboard. And a par four awaits at this next hole. 
This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Look out world was his statement when he came out on the Pro Tour. And we look back in the greatness in sports, right across all sport in the world. Has one player or one athlete had a greater impact on their sport more than Tiger Woods did for golf? Oh, fantastic shot. I, I hate to say no, because I also look back at the sport, Luke, when Arnold Palmer came through. Um, good looking fella and just kind of came from a blue collar background and I kind of think that Arnold Palmer paved the way for a Tiger Woods to then go out and dominate because golf was already on the radar it just wasn't nearly as much on the radar uh, as it is now because of Tiger but I think because of what what Arnold Palmer did um, he set the, the groundwork for all of this but in saying that, in the modern era, in the modern game, to be fair, and you look at every sport across the books, oh. and I don't care whether you're talking about you know, Tom Brady, LeBron James right now, uh, it, it's, I don't think you have a bigger player globally, uh, with the exception of maybe Messi or Ronaldo, than Tiger Woods. I, I just think that from a global standpoint, Tiger Woods, whenever he shows his face anywhere, people lose their minds like uh, grown men lose their minds if they get a glimpse of tiger woods from 50 yards away i've seen it before luke and i'll see it again but it it never seems to amaze me baffle me make me giggle a little bit like holy cow this guy is this guy's elvis he's elvis presley i mean because elvis was the biggest guy in the world as far as i can tell um so I, it's just it's mind-boggling how big tiger woods is in this game uh, and continues to be and will forever be and coming off the booty they'll be proud of themselves a chance to keep it rolling i absolutely love their like basically they're like little bios on a lot of the pros man that was awful that's not the one he wanted an awful drive time for the second shot here at the seventh hmm. I was good. Will it stop though? Because oh, it did. Okay. Well, that should save them. That one. I was worried. Sand. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Okay, let's get back to the action. Your rivals only seem to make right bogeys. On four feet should make this one. And gets that part to drop. Gutsy effort. Bunkered off the tee, wasn't able to find the green, but saves the par with that putt. What? No. He's in a share of fifth no, position. No, I birdied it. And Ricky's Always 10 like over. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad <sighs> thing. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Ah, fast. This one headed left in a hurry. John, do you have any info down there? Hey guys, we are checking in Who with is? John Rahm as he Mr. gets Rahm. set for his next shot here on the 13th. What a shot from the rough. This is gorgeous. Yeah, it's very good. He'll make a birdie. Or a bogey from there, you never know. Over. Currently tied for fifth place. Um, what's about putting this? I'm gonna bring it back to like right there. Yeah. Just didn't drop. Still went past by three Putting feet. for a par now. Five feet. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. And yeah, nicely hold. He finds himself currently tied for fifth. Oh my god, they're only minus one now. And now we find ourselves with a par four here. Ah, I tried to do a little bit of well, power on there, but... That's heading down the runway. Wind up going even less than I would have. Great Ballesteros inspired an entire generation of European golfers, particularly his own Spanish golfers, and I feel that we might even have the best Spanish golfer of all time in John Ramridge. Slow. I absolutely agree with that. I, I believe in the game right now, Luke, that if there's one player 
that all others are fearful of when they get on top of the leaderboard, I think John Rahm's name would be number one because he seemingly has zero weaknesses. I can't find a single one. I look at his game, and it is so oh. complete, you just get envious of it, don't you? Because it is so good everywhere. <laughs> Off the tee, iron play, the short game, the mentality, the vision, the imagination. He's got every single tool that you could possibly want in this game. He is by far, I believe, the most complete player in our game today. Yeah, it certainly feels like we're in the John Rahm era right now. So the bios, Sitting I think they happen a little over. too frequently. I think a we've had three, three of them in this um, tournament well, alone. That far left, the and with 10 miles an hour in our face, it should have never went that far. Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that line. Come on. Yeah, man. this is not what they wanted. There might be a couple of hits here. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. Uh, 14 footer. He's staring down a birdie putt here. But I pulled it. This really right, looks still good. A well hold. He'll take the birdie. Man, the and pulls the just looks up at that familiar sight and sees the kill me. Tiger Woods on top. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Ah. Uh. Couldn't be slow with the wind. That's really not what we were looking for. And Rich, we talked about so much and we heard so many of them throughout the years. A tiger roar just sounded different to any other roar on the golf course. Explain just the energy of that and what you endured. Well, the tiger roar is usually involved about 35,000 folks nah. and the, any other roar was about 3,500. Um, so that was already a massive difference. You just knew it. There's just an energy in the air. When you heard a roar go up, you immediately could tell whether it was Tiger or it was somebody else. And it all kind of depends on how you were affected by it. And I think that where a lot of players got into into trouble was listening for the roars and listening good. what kind of roar it was. And when they let it into their head that it was a tiger roar, then I need to do something better. I need to change it up real quick. And in fact, that's probably what hurt them more than anything else. But listen, <laughs> tiger, tiger hated it, went in a hole. <laughs> everybody on the golf course knew it was him. Sitting at plus one, tied for fifth. Mark it down. Yes. That's six birdies today. Why not take another look at that effort? It was almost straight, and it was only like 12 feet, guys. It's just because it's on the fringe doesn't mean you need to replay it. And after that hole, the standings have this player in second place, just behind Tiger. Tiger Woods. three ahead and of the that pack. Play, moving up the leaderboard, we have a par four on this one. So downhill. Let's hmm. Let's do this. this okay. Seems to be a fair way seeker to me. I feel even the wind in front of us. I feel like we still would have ran into the rough if we hadn't done that. In this game, that you've been one of the rare players to take Tiger Woods down in his prime. But what was it like to play in the Tiger era? And just how dominant he was. It was simply amazing. You knew that each and every week that he showed up to a tournament, you better have your game ready to go because you assumed Bad. that he was going to be firing at all cylinders. Because even when he wasn't, his game was still good enough to beat most everybody in those fields. You wanted him there because you always want to test yourself against the best. However, it, it, if you weren't playing very well, you're kind of fearful teeing it up because you just knew that you're best at that moment in time wasn't nearly going to be good enough to beat Tiger no matter what he brought to the table. He made each and every player look at their game in a different way and try and dissect it 
in order to weed out anything that didn't really need to be worked on and got them more specific in the areas that they weren't good at, their deficient areas, whether it's the short game, the driver, the iron play, whatever it is. But Tiger really made you take a long, hard look at your game and figure out where it's at because you knew that you had to be at your best to beat him. Trying to get to one under here with this putt. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really yes. sharp today. We started off awful, now I'll be over honest. Now Ricky Fowler. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. And let's I would see love to watch them, but when the they're 14 shots Look back, I don't know. Look who's stalking us all on top of the leaderboard. It's Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. This hole is a par five. The cut's plus 12. Ricky, you could make it, man. Oh, thank God the oh, wind was <laughs> 12 mile an hour to the left. The fairway in my eyes. Playing from around 230 yards. Three shots off the lead. <laughs> going with the hybrid. Ah, it's that big pull. Yeah, going for it in two. Okay. He wants to win. And here we are with the third shot. Three behind our leader. Ah. And a chance Man, if that one wasn't slow. Here. It's on a good line. Okay. Gets that one to go down, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. And it's Tiger on top of the leaderboard. At five under. He's making his move. Ricky, birdie. Just get a damn birdie. And we've arrived at a par three. <laughs> ah, a little bit fast. This one looks like it's going left. Oh, look at that. Oh, well, that was on. <laughs> okay. Really Actually hit it Tennessee bad. With that wind. Ended up almost getting a hole in now, one. This is a challenging one. A lengthy putt awaits. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Five feet coming up to the cup. This is their look at birdie. Oh, terrific. What an effort. And with that, we'll move to three under par. Tiger Woods back in his familiar spot, currently on top of things right now. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Oh, great swing there. Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Why don't we catch up with Ricky Fowler? Went straight down. So, I wish they Let's did it so shot. in real life, you know, when they're showing off on TV. What kind of shot are they when people here, are Henny? playing as bad this as is he is, Bree, so it's gonna be they never to show them. I kind of wish it would do that because a highlight every hole when in your plus thir 12 or 13 is, uh, you know. Ah. And choosing the eight iron here. That one's headed right and staying right. Yeah, that, that was Getting awful. ready to play their third. Just two shots behind. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. Well done. All right, one hole. Let's get another birdie. Get it to four under. When we started out at, what, three over? Good God. He's currently sitting in second. Oh, well, Fowler's not making a cut. Let's head to the final hole of this round. Oh, he's caught up in some branches there. It's all Pretty part of the plan. There. And what are we looking at here, Henny? He's setting up here from about oh. 115 yards. He really got that one out there. Fantastic drive. Uh, Club up. Don't. I like this play. Okay. Yeah, well played. I should have stayed where I was and just a hit a partial. Under the card. This putt's for four under. Nah, I pulled it. If I hadn't now, pulled it, look, it would have been in. Ah, but three under, I mean, 
peak performance with that. Activate five different skills in a single 18 hole round. Okay. With three back, we went minus seven on the day, starting with a bogey. Fowler unfortunately went eight over, so he's 14 over for the tournament. He misses the cut. Man, it seems like your levels actually go less than the clubhouse pass. That's interesting. Tiger. He went six under. Oh no, he is six under. Sorry, he went three under. Alright, final round. Can we make a move? Let's find out. Sports in association with the PGA Tour is proud to bring you the season long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Serenity Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Luke Elby and Rich Beam here bring you all the action of the final round. And Rich, I love these days. Championships are decided. Finally, we're not in that damn bunker. In to pull out the win. <laughs> Luke, currently in second place, heading to the final round. Not a bad place to be, but let's face it. These guys aren't playing for second place, are they? They've got their eye on the prize. They want to finish Ooh, number should one. Not so have have a good final round. Put the loft on there. Oh, I've got those special chills up the spine. I know today's going to be a beauty. Let's get into it. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Oh, short. Well, wow. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing. It's a lot slower. That's all right. A par. We have bogeyed it both end. days. Par on the, the last. Tiger bogey, so place. we're only too bad. Just behind our leader, Tiger Woods. And we got a par five. That's very downhill. We hit a great drive. It's going to be on a slope, though, so. And now we go to the third where this happened just a moment ago. Lining up for his second. Varner, who's playing good in this one and played it just like Ricky in the last one, so. Ooh. They're thinking of going for this one, guys. For Hyber, because... Ah. Oh, that was a little bit of an interesting pass at it. Man. If that a chance yeah. now from the bunker. It's tough, you know. Down. It's a tough shot. Man, look at that lie. Oh, hit it. Almost perfect. Stop. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Firm back up the hill. This will be a good one. No. Uh. Oh my god, I even pulled it like an insane Ooh, a person. A rush of blood by the looks of it. Ooh, nice looking part. Okay. Did yeah, you see that swing like plane? That. Oh my god. Man, that should have been such an... E the par fives where it's like, oh, this should be an easy birdie. Nah. But the ones where I gotta lay up and, and I'm, you know, a pitch away. On top of the it's like, oh, I am made Getting it three feet. The third hole. And after a part of the last... Chance to maybe take a step in the right direction. Uh, bounce left, please. This one might roll nope. into the rough. Rich, um. we saw it right throughout Tiger Woods' career. Just epic shot after epic shot. What was the best shot you ever saw Tiger hit? We were playing in 2002 in the Grand Slam of golf uh, over in Hawaii. You know, Justin Leonard, Davis Love, Tiger, and myself. And we, on the second day, Wind's blown at a pretty good clip on the par five. I think it was number seven. And you had to bust two shots to get there. Nobody, I mean, it was nearly impossible. And in fact, it was impossible for three out of the four of us to get it home in two. The Tiger gets up there on this par five the second day. And he's already leading by like 800, I think. <laughs> and he drills on, right down the middle. I lay up with a three wood. That's how hard it's blowing. I lay up with a three wood to about 70, 80 yards. And this little green is a little peninsula. It kind of goes from left to right, a little bit of a, I'm scared of a of the fade water. if you're a right-handed player, with water on the front part of the green and the pins over in the back right. And he gets up there and smokes driver off the deck into about a 25-mile-an-hour wind to about so six bad. feet away. And I look over at my caddy and I go, is this for real? I mean, <laughs> it, 
are you sure that we're not in a video game right now? Because that's just not possible. I mean, it literally, the second shot off the deck with the driver was hit about forehead high and traveled about 270 into the wind. And the ball just kind of hung there, seemingly just about 20 feet off the ground, just hung there and kept hanging, kept hanging, kept hanging and fell right exactly where he wanted it to. It, it was it was unbelievable. And at that moment in time, you kind of sit there and look at, at yourself on the inside and you go, Whew, I don't have that shot, and I don't even know how to make up for a shot like that that I don't have. You just knew that you're just kind of sitting there watching, watching something that nobody else in the game can do. It, it's phenomenal. That's a really cool Jones story as I hit here. a bad shot. They've chosen to club down here. That, I really like that yeah, story. Nice it's a driver off the deck to, to six foot. Ah. Didn't oh, hit it. Lovely speed on that part. I was afraid so to hit it because it went hole. downhill afterwards. Trailing by four strokes. Welcome to this hole. It's a par five. That tee shot looks pretty good. Why don't we catch up with our man in the hot seat, Tiger Woods? Ooh. This is their fifth shot. Let's see. He was minus. Big time play that one at the Six. right time too. So we'll Saving see. Saving one there after being all over the parking lot, chipping in for the par. Oh, okay. It was, it was for a par big anyway. impact for a lot of players playing alongside Tiger Woods. They also ah. almost got sort of you know spooked by the occasion. Okay. Why was Let's that? So yeah, I don't more want that to be on the green. Else, I don't think. It's the fact that they're playing in front of more people than they ever had in their life before. And this rings true for, I think, every single player out there, whether it was Ernie Els, VJ Singh, I anybody from oh, that I era. didn't need this You spin. had more eyeballs on you at that moment than anybody else because Tiger carried the biggest crowds every single tournament. And so sometimes it, like crazy it would be again. uncomfortable, even for the most accomplished players out there. Some of them will tell you, no, it wasn't a big deal, but I, I can promise you, it got their attention and it probably helped them in a certain sense because when you played in front of that many people, Luke, you wanted to focus, you wanted to put your best foot forward because there is no worse feeling in the world than going out and laying an egg in front of 30,000 people, I can promise you that. That's why I enjoyed playing with them because when you went out there, you knew you had to play well. You didn't want to embarrass yourself in front of all those people. Lovely touch. Well Tony Fina. Judging it beautifully. Let's return to live play now. I had a three word because I didn't want to go in that stupid bunker again. <laughs> yeah, he's got around 125 here. Perfect, but I pushed it a little. No, not really. Oh, man. Uh, here we are with the third need to take shot. a lot off of Just that, I guess. Three strokes back. Says it's uphill. Oh, oh so close. If I hadn't have pushed Playing it, I think it would have went in. I like the look of this. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Two back. We've reached we just the need to play hole. smart. The is yours. You know. Just try and avoid bogeys. We'll get a birdie here and there, you know. Uh, get a good bounce. Nope. I was hoping it would bounce left. Them, a bit short with that effort. This line doesn't look too tough. Just in the first cut, up by the green. Putting for a par here. And after that hole, the standings have this player in second place, just behind Tiger Woods. I love a good two-shotter. Birdies on par fours feel great because you've had to execute all three shots. Oh, absolutely flushed. And he's down there. Setting up here huh. from about 185 yards. Going with the oh, that could here. be good. That could be good. Well, they've got their eye locked in. Look at that approach shot against Ricky Fowler as well. Ricky now didn't make the cut. Four shots now. Oh my god, Tiger eagled that one. All right. well, <sighs> I wish they could fix here, that, man. Going with driver off the tee. 
Oh god, of course. On a par five. Ah, that's not the shot he's hoping for. We could have gained some have ground. A better look at this lie. Not the best tee shot, but they got a actually a horrible lie. lie. It was so good that I hit it back into the rough. Currently four shots off the pace. Uh. Hmm. Ninety two to ninety five uphill a little bit. Chosen uh, the pitchy wage here. God. This one headed out to the left. Like it'd be alright if I was like five yards left, shot. but good god. Four strokes off the lead. It's so far left. Oh that could be good though. Oh it didn't run. And if this can go down, he'll save par. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime <laughs> fun to watch. It's just about three feet away. He's trying to Trailing avoid those. Five shots after that hole. Nine holes with no bogeys and then boom. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. <laughs> a big drive to the uh, left into in a rough, bunker. I think. Here we have the second shot into the 11th. Well, just like Lloyd Christmas, you've got a chance. Tiger? Let's take another look at Tiger from earlier. Our current leader showing us why they're on top. It's a good shot. Standing over this one, and it's a very oh God. long part. Little birdie look in here. Whoops. Pushed it a little bit. Oh, I didn't hit it. That's too bad. A little too cautious on that effort. I was worried to hit it as much as it really wanted me to because it says uphill. But I mean, it went downhill after the hill, you know. Three on this one, and after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Ah. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Uh, After nine holes, we just seem to be going downhill. This would be a great up and down. Oh, good shot. How close was that to Put almost hole. max spin great on shot. it. Ooh, this would be a good one to Didn't make. really do it's anything. Oh, that's pure heart. Great fight to make that putt. And a nice, tidy save from the greenside bunker. Nice par. He's currently in the second position. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. No, not that. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. Hit a low that bullet. Find the short stuff. This Make sure it stays in that fairway. 160 yards out. Five strokes behind our leader. <sighs> with the that was wedge slow. Here. Uh, a bad I don't think I there. fully completed the backswing. I think that's why some of these are going slow and they don't feel Currently like they would. Place. Even though it says like 100% or whatever. Didn't that look good for a long time? This putt's about four feet from the hole. Nicely hold. And for par. The leaderboard has them sitting in second place. Just behind our leader, Tiger Woods. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Perfect. A little bit of a pull, but it's okay. You liked that, didn't you? And our intrepid on-course reporter, John, standing by. Hello up there. We are uh, checking in down here with Harold Varner III as he gets set for his next shot here on the 15th. Okay, time to return to the action. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Five shots off the pace. And choosing the Just a touch here. fast. But the swing plane was really good. A touch of a, a pull as well. And here we are with the third shot. Five shots off the lead.
I pushed it like crazy. Okay. And look, if I, now. if I hadn't pushed it, He's probably would have went in. Pop out here. Let's see if he can make it. Well hold. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Oh, you couldn't oh look at that. Picture. Couldn't hit Gorgeous. it any better. Lining up from about 230 yards here. Five strokes behind our leader. Looks ah. to be going with a hybrid here. Hmm. Put the indicator on and it's taking a right Still turn. Still a decent shot. Now heading over to Tiger Woods. Oh. Yeah, they're planning an aggressive play here, guys. Going for it in two. Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. Ah, oh, can't see the ball. He's three iron. Oh my god, well. He's about to get to 11 under. Trying to get to six under now with this putt. Mm, that thing broke like crazy. Oh, that would be an outstanding but we get eagle. back the birdie of uh, the bogey. Our so. is currently enjoying a full stroke advantage. Look. Oh my god, we're the only two under par. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. Hmm. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Yeah, I had to get that. Come on, that oh, yes. Now that was it. a shot. Oh, that's a nice ball flight. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the Had day. to take a lot of distance off of that because the next one I don't think was going to make it there. Look who's stalking us all on top of the leaderboard. It's Tiger Woods. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Who it is? Hello up there. We are uh, checking in down here with Harold Varner the third as he gets set for his next shot oh. here on the 18th. Hit it way too hard, but he hit the pin, so. I would have been putting from right there. Well, Rich, this player is certainly making moves up the leaderboard, aren't they? Absolutely nice push on this final round. Still needs to keep the foot Pounce on left. the gas, continue making birdies if they have any hope of winning. A wonderful shot here at the 17th and a chance for birdie. And a fantastic look upcoming. Yes. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And that will take him to seven under. And after that hole, the standings have this player in second Two place. Two back going to the just last. Just behind Tiger Woods. And it's part. I tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. Oh. <laughs> Well, this should affect the ball flight. Oh, man. Well, this is a little bit of a birdie blitz going on. From that the was layout. awful. Make another? Yes, the only thing that could ruin it now is a triple bogey. Rich, shut your Opting mouth. For the hybrid, I think. Couldn't even get it to the Something freaking green. The on that shot. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Well, except for the last hole. Well, this putt would be a good one to hold for a round of 68. We actually pre played it's pretty up. good. Oh, yeah, we still part it. And that brings to an Seven end under. Four, four under on the day. So, I mean, we had one bogey, and that was a par five. It's still, you know, it's the first round just gets me. I don't know what it is. It just gets me. I couldn't hit anything. 90% oh, so of everything was fast. I was pulling into. everything the on the first round. The stories that we could have told if they completed the victory would be endless. Unfortunately, Too bad. not getting it done, but still, what a performance on this final I'm round. I'm happy with that. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Hey, there Thanks we go. for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. And again, dominated, Ricky almost I think the same amount as Harold Varner actually we had one double eight bogeys 17 birdies no eagles or albatrosses Ricky had only two birdies 18 bogeys and two doubles
Tiger Woods wins. And he's number one now in the FedEx Cup. That's the no, that's just the... Uh, okay. No, it, I think he is. Oh, whoops. I mean, do that. Alright, so... Hybrid timing head. Oh my god, that brings the power transition and shaping down so much. I don't think I can put that on there. Some ball sleeves. Two ball sleeves. The LTD LXS driver, which I don't have that one. That's the newest one. I have the Rad Speed, I think it is. The Puma hat. Cobra glove. All the right. Oh, you know what? We'll clip the four. Oh, well, whatever. It's not four. And money. Two K. No. I don't want your clubs. Tattoo golf. Ah. Um... Let's try it. I like tattoo golf stuff. So, we'll see. Nike, no thank you. We got one point. Uh, what should we do? Stick with. I'm still doing decent with the driver. Should we do the irons? Lie, shaping, timing. That's from the bunker, though. Roll, roll boost from the heavy rough might be pretty good. This one activates hitting into a headwind of 15 or greater. We don't do that very much. What is this? Normal shots receive a live range boost off the fairway. So that's if you're hitting it off the deck. That could be good because it takes away 20% when you switch to hitting the driver off the deck. Uh -huh. Let's go with another driver. Yeah, LTDX driver, baby. I like the infinity on the face. My driver has that as well. We haven't gotten... Oh, we got the shaft. I don't care. I like the shaft better. Yeah, let's go with that shaft. For some reason, I do like the... Whatever this is. Grip. Didn't get one. For this one, we need a head. Which is this one, but it just takes. I mean, it takes power away. And it takes transition. So, transition is the big one, but the swing path goes up by eight. And the timing goes up by eight. I say we get this. have everything on these. Wedge, we need a grip. There we go. Yeah, that one's really good. 
But this one has positives and everything. Ooh. Man, but the swing path is in the lie range is so good on this one. Let's get the let's get this one. Oops. Still, I don't think um, anything with the putter. Yeah. I forgot about the apparel. Got a hat. Puma. Uh, let's go with two hour. How do we get to... Crap, I already forgot. Look, I did it last time. And now I forgot. How do we get to my round two? Oh, here we go. Stupid. Because the round two is the most bland. And there we go. And look, we defeated them. I mean, we defeated them. Let's go for Bubble Watts and we'll get hat, club, and money. Alright guys, that's going to end it for this video. When we come back, we are going to be in the Shriners Hot Children's Open at TPC Summer. So that one should be pretty fun. Uh, let's look at our schedule right there. So all we need to do is stay in the top 50 in the FedEx Cup. And we'll be playing the Champions Invitational, which I believe is four rounds. It's four rounds. Um, but the next one is the Shriners. We tie for third and then second. So we're not doing too bad. Um, hope you guys are enjoying it. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.